Bitcoin is creating a massive CME gap and in exactly 72 hours from now on, we are about to get massive market volatility since right now still, there's a 50% chance we're going to get a 50 basis point rate cut or a 25 one. So the market has not priced in yet what is going to be happening and whether it's going to be 50 or 25. One thing is for sure, if one of those is going to be happening, we're going to be seeing big, big market volatility. So on today's update video, I will be exactly talking about the CME gap that is laying above us, about the most important Bitcoin price action and trends this downtrend on bitcoin which i think needs to get broken if we want to be seeing bitcoin anytime soon go up to 70k again here so i will be discussing the most important patterns and charts so without any further ado guys don't forget to once again slap off the like button back above 1000 likes will be highly appreciated and with that of being said let me jump straight away in towards the content so currently looking at bitcoin we can see that we're creating a massive cme gap trading above us around 68,500. And this CME gap is most likely going to get filled at the end of the weekend or at the beginning of the Monday. So what we're expecting is that Bitcoin is going to be hovering around this price and most likely on the Monday is going to come back towards the mean price. And of course, if we're going to be trading above it, we're most likely expecting it's going to come back here on the Monday as well here. So if we're going to be seeing any big pumps over the course of this weekend, make sure that this is most likely a trap, but also vice versa if we're going to be seeing any dumps happening over the course of this exact weekend. So currently Bitcoin is still trading in a massive uptrend compared to previously around where we were trading in this massive downtrend so currently we can see clearly bitcoin is creating higher lows together with higher highs and this price structure is just telling us that we're currently looking for long positions and this price structure is telling us that bitcoin is most likely going to be going up here until we break this trend and come down again here and what i want to be pointing out straight away here is that currently bitcoin is trading against one of the most important levels of resistance which is this exact downward sloping trend line you can see right here we got rejected right here then we saw another major rejection right here around 63,000 us dollars where bitcoin moved all the way down again from to 52,000 us dollars and then we bounce back towards the upside and yet again this exact level is providing resistance for bitcoin right now here and and the moment we're going to be confirming the break above this exact level right here is going to be of course marking a very bullish breakout you could be approaching this pattern here as bitcoin of course is potentially creating a symmetrical triangle or you could be approaching it as bitcoin is creating a falling wedge pattern as you're zooming out a little bit more here you can see bitcoin is creating a downward sloping support line downward sloping resist line and basically on the bigger perspective the market is getting squeezed up here because the lows are getting less exponential the highs are getting also less exponential and basically what we're going to be seeing at any moment right now here maybe it's already going to be happening today but at some point we're going to be seeing the breakout and whenever the breakout is going to be happening on this chart we're going to be seeing massive price targets getting reached somewhere around 72 000 US dollars and what is important to understand here is that this bitcoin pattern is created many times in such kind of a consolidation phase and 80 to 90 percent of the chances it does break out towards the upside so it's important to be paying attention towards this downward slope and resist line since that is the exact level from the falling wedge which is currently providing resistance for bitcoin right now and looking at the reason why bitcoin has been going up recently is most likely due to the fact that the stock market has been significantly increasing and one of the reasons why the stock market is potentially increasing is due to the fact that the federal reserve is right now most likely going to be cutting the rates with 50 basis points in the next meeting which is happening in exactly three days from now on and if we're looking what happened historically to bitcoin we have always seen the massive bitcoin bull market getting started whenever the federal reserve decided to cut the interest rates here and now there's a chance we're going to be seeing the first rate cut being 50 basis points here but since it is still 50 50 percent it means that the market doesn't exactly know what is going to be happening yet here and as the days are going to be following we're probably going to be knowing a little bit more what is exactly going to be happening and then the market is going to be pricing it in but if the meeting is going to happen at the point where it's still 50 50 the market is most likely going to be experiencing a lot of volatility on the fed meeting since we have not priced in what is most likely going to be happening but one thing is for sure what happened last time around is that whenever the federal reserve started to be cutting their rates injecting liquidity in the market it was a very good thing for bitcoin because as money was becoming more widely available, we saw assets like Bitcoin increase in value. 
since Bitcoin is a scarce asset. And yes, if we're looking at this chart right here, guys, I am only going to call for this next massive leg towards the upside for Bitcoin whenever we think about this very important downward sloping resistance line, but also whenever Bitcoin decides to be breaking above this very important lower high structure. And this lower high structure has been in play for already a very long time here because Bitcoin has been going sideways for already over 200 days right now here. And whenever Bitcoin is going to be managing to be breaking above that previous high in the market and we take out that previous high as well, that is going to be the point where we're going to be seeing that next massive rally towards the upside getting started. So, yes, I'm looking at the downward sloping trend line. I am looking at the downtrend in general. And if we can flip the previous high in Bitcoin, that is the point where I believe the next big bull market is going to get started. And I believe that there's going to be a very good trading opportunity on this exact breakout right here whenever it is going to be taking place here. And I will be most certainly starting to be opening up some new trades if I do get the opportunity on this exact breakout. So if you are interested in trading yourself in this upcoming bull market, because there are a lot of gains to be made here with not only Bitcoin, but also with a lot of altcoins. And if you're interested in trading in general, guys, there's an insane deposit bonus currently running. First of all, you can claim a 30,000 US dollar deposit bonus if you sign up an account using this link in the description. But also if you press on that link, you will come to this page where you can currently for only the coming three days right now, guys, can claim a free 500 US dollar aggro position on Bybit. And yeah, if you're interested in that, if you're interested in trading, guys, make sure to claim that free 500 US dollar aggro position as well. Because all you need to do to claim this free 500 US dollar position is go to the link description of this video, sign up an account, and of course, complete your KYC. And then you can claim this free trade here. And this deposit bonus is expiring in exactly three days and 17 hours from now on. So please make sure to not miss it. It is extremely valuable and you do not want to be missing out on this one right here so yeah zooming in a little bit on the bitcoin falling much better this is then uh, recorded on the two-day time frame you can just see this pattern is just beautifully getting created and and just like I said earlier in this video about the price target, guys, there is an insane price target for the breakout of this exact falling wedge here. You're measuring it from the high to the low, and then you're going to be pointing it on the breakout, depending where the breakout is. But it's going to be taking us somewhere up to 78,000 US dollars, depending on when we're going to be breaking out here. But anyways, we're expecting that whenever this breakout is happening, we're most likely going to be seeing Bitcoin getting lifted up towards new all-time highs here. So that is a great thing, great development. Bitcoin also still trading in this massive bull flag better and i think that yeah whenever we break outside of the falling wedge better there is some major resistance ahead of ourselves still around the top side of the bull flag pattern and of course if we're looking at the fractal i've discussed in many videos before guys it looks to be that it is exactly playing out here after 175 days of sideways consolidation or downwards consolidation as you say uh, we are finally right now starting to be bouncing back towards the upside maybe it's going to be reversing but at least so far this fractal is exactly playing out here. And on the monthly time frame, you can cl currently clearly still see here, Bitcoin is just consolidating, waiting for the next move to happen. And with the Fed right now cutting its rates, we could start to see some fireworks happening anytime soon here. And yes, in exactly 50 days from now on as well, we're going to have the US election, what is most certainly going to be causing massive volatility in the market. But one thing is for sure, we're going to be looking at the last two elections. At least every single time we had an election, Bitcoin went in towards a bull market. So 2024, late 2024, I should say, is going to be bullish for Bitcoin anyways here. And yes, if we're going to be looking at what is the historical performance of Q4 for crypto or better said for Bitcoin, historically Q4 is one of the best performing months here for Bitcoin. And I don't see a reason why it is going to be different this time around here. So Q4 is literally here in two and a half weeks here. So this is the last time we should be patient on Bitcoin right now here. I mean, the patterns we're creating is looking extremely bullish right now here. I don't think there's a big reason to be panicking on Bitcoin right here. We're creating this massive downward sloping resist line. We're creating a massive bull flag pattern. Things are just looking very great for Bitcoin right now here, in my opinion. So yeah, guys, this was it for me in today's update video. But if you did learn something from it, don't forget to once again, slam that like button back above the 1000 likes. would be highly appreciated. But anyways... Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.